How did freshwater fish survive the worldwide flood? Obviously, flooding the world with salt water is going to mess with freshwater ecosystems. Creationists have a hard time with this one. There's not a lot of great answers out there, but we do have some clues. I'm looking at a saltwater ecosystem right now at Hammonasset State Park in their little aquarium, and there are some fish that are perfectly adapted to living in saltwater, uh, which means their osmoregulation is very different from fish that live in freshwater. When they uh, urinate, it's very, very full of um, salts and ions and, and molecules to kind of balance with the amount of ions that are entering their body from the salt water. But freshwater fish, uh, when they urinate, it's very dilute. Their osmoregulation is very different. Um, when they when they urinate, it also has to balance the fresh water entering their body. And so it's very diluted um, when they urinate. But there is an ecosystem in the middle, and this is called brackish ecosystems. And a lot of animals can actually live in brackish water in addition to their per their preference outside of it. So Freshwater fish can live in brackish water and saltwater fish can live in brackish water. And it takes just a slight adjustment in their osmoregulation. So even if we don't have a perfect explanation as of yet for how freshwater fish survived the flood, we have some ideas. There probably were dramatic extinction events possibly as saltwater and freshwater got mixed and animals could not adapt, but there were plenty of animals that could adapt and their osmoregulation shifts. We also have diadromous fish uh, living today that can switch between saltwater and freshwater. Um, it just takes a little bit of time. And so there's plenty of kind of pathways for this to happen, even if we don't have the right answer yet. So thanks for popping in. And this is the Creation Reformation YouTube channel.